we're letting one fall behind, we're not working efficiently, right? And uh, we're going to use kind of a little definition here, efficiently exercising, I alluded to just a minute ago, I'm talking multi-joint exercises, okay, where we're, we're kind of marrying lower body with upper body, okay, we're going to burn more calories at once, we're not, we did it. Yeah. Um, we're not necessarily just going to isolate kind of one area, okay, unless my body needs that, shoulder blocks, right? When it comes to burning calories, working hard, I'm a big proponent of multi-joint exercises. I pick a time on the clock I have to be done by. Even if I don't really have to be done by, I pick a time on the clock I surmise I'm gonna hate working out at. <laughs> and then I make sure I'm done at that point. I'm MacGyver. I get in, I get out, I take a shower. So, I prefer to do that. I feel like life is full body. Um, so I'm doing a lot of things if you were in one of my classes either this morning or yesterday, you're going to see a lot of things like this. I won't waste all your time with exercises, but I'm a big proponent of things like, um, you know, like a reverse lunge, pull these down, drive up into an overhead press. I might do more weight than five pounds of hand, okay, but you'll see me doing a lot of this. It's not because I'm trying to show off five pounds of hand, because I got time. I got a limited amount of time. Right? I'm trying to use it efficiently. If, uh, if you're totally new, if you're a newbie to, to exercise and all that look forward to you, come talk to us. Why are we here, okay? I'm going to lie to you. Part of this is self <laughs> Okay? I'm wearing a big orange shirt. I've got six, right? <laughs> um, but come talk to us, okay? We're here to help. Also, give yourself a deadline. Because if you're in here aimlessly, that goes back to that first point. You don't know where your goals are. Kind of walking around, kicking the tires on one machine from the next. They've done that at home. To be honest, I'm not a huge proponent of, of exercise machines anyway. Um, if we have to start you there, fair enough, we'll start you there. But my goal is to get everybody in free motion with free weights, because that's where life is. You train with a crutch, you're going to live with a crutch. Okay? So if all you're ever doing is sitting on those machines, that's all you're ever going to get. Okay? It's really easy. If you want to be the same as everybody else, don't change anything. It's really easy. Why nobody stands out? Okay? It would be different, do something different. Work harder and faster. Give yourself 20 minutes. I have to be in and out by 20 minutes. Um, there are days I'll come in here, I'm not even going to touch a weight, <laughs> but I want, I want to work out really hard. I know, like, my upper body or, or whatever, the shoulders, I know they can handle weight. So I'm hitting sprint intervals on the treadmill. Okay, that's going to grind me into smithereens in a good way. That is taxed, it's already taxed. And then, like I said, there's some days that I have to use my time efficiently in another manner. Shoulder clock, boring stuff on the floor, chakra exercises, because I'm a weirdo. Questions about that? Do you guys have questions about specific exercises or anything you've tried or heard about? What are the chakra exercises? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um, for, I, I actually would like that to be a wholly separate seminar, but I don't know. Um, we'll call them zone exercises, so some people don't necessarily buy into all that. In fact, there are six zones, there's six chakras, and then there are seven, okay, which is up here, it's the crown chakra. The crown chakra refers to sort of a spiritual connection. If no one's there yet, fair enough. It's not on my job to push that on. But the point is kind of that mind-body connection I alluded to earlier, where it doesn't make sense to always just grind your muscles into tiny, tiny bits of guts, right? We just break apart, we get shoulder impingement. That's where guys, guys walk around like this all the time. Because all we ever do is upper body and we do the anterior. And before we know we walk around like this, we turn into old men. Because we let our ego kind of take over, we never hit shoulder box, work things back in the corrective posture, things like that. So that's, that's kind of like a readily available example I know from, from my life. Some people have problems in their legs, okay? and we'll get weird with it, although deep. In chakra exercises, um, these, have, these parts on your body correspond to what's going on in your life. I'll put it that way. So if I have pain in my neck, I'm having difficulty communicating with people. Now, sure, it might be because I had a plane ride the next day, or the day before, but if I'm really, really honest with myself, going back to that first point, and I designate some real good mirror time, Okay, I'm probably having a miscommunication with people. Or legs, lower body, those are the root chakras. Getting into security. Okay, whether it be financial, kind of personal, uh, how I feel with that kind of security, you know, like self-actualization, or like myself kind of thing. Um, 
I really would like to do a whole thing on that. Yeah. Yeah. So, and you might be talks. Um, so there are exercises out there that, that include uh, increasing like blood flow and most importantly, mental connection, okay, with that area of your body. Okay, because that's what we do when we work out. We're putting a lot of focus and onus on one particular part of the body at times. We're just taxing ourselves physically too much. We're much more than physical beings, right? So, um, in short, that's what chakra exercises are. I can show you specifics uh, if you want to do that. Uh, again, I'd like to have several of these. If you guys will show up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm a guy, I pick a time on the clock, uh, I want to finish my whole thing before my playlist is over. Like, I love music. I'm a music snob. I'm not even a dork. I'm a music snob. Like, I will judge you based on your iPod, okay? But I love music. I also know I got to get in and out before my playlist is over, okay? I'll be here forever. Um, okay. Kind of talked about, like, straight interval burst exercises, things that are quick, okay? Things that are going to jack up my heart rate within the, within the workout. If I'm on the elliptical, um, watching, keeping up with Kardashians, it's going to take me 45 minutes for my heart rate to get to a point where I'm actually kind of burning fat. I'm not just utilizing the calories I had whenever I <laughs> ate beforehand, okay? It takes a long time. I don't even watch that show. So imagine how miserable that is, okay? <laughs> If I do burst training, whether it be sprints, whether it be something with the band here, uh, weight training, I mean, frankly, you're working as hard as you can, your whole body's pushing this weight up in the air over and over, maybe 40, 45 seconds, then you take a break, you let that heart rate drop. This is a favorite of mine. It's, uh, it's honestly become kind of like a default warm-up for me. We'll do it in pretty much a lot of my team training, not all of them. It's just a band thruster. It's a push press, okay? Little pause at the top. Little pause at the top. I'll try to go quicker. Okay, the rubber band is elastic, so it's going to make me go quicker. And that's why I use it. Okay, I can't really dilly dally with it because it's going to snap me right back into the next rep. Reason being, when you jack your heart rate up like this and then let it drop just a wee bit before your next set, and then you go again and it drops before the next set, and then you go again, as opposed to just steady, steady, steady incline on that elliptical, watching garbage TV, no offense. What's going to happen then when you're done with your workout, if you're just kind of gradually building that heart rate, when you're done, it's going to drop. Your body knows it. You can't lie. Your body knows exactly the machine, how many calories, where the heart rate needs to be to get you to a certain point. So when you're done, you're done. It drops. If you trick your body like that, okay, like the reason we do that run after a lot of my team trainings, is to set you all up when you go home. When you shower, sit on the couch, have something to eat, if we do those sprint intervals, okay, we work as hard as we can for a short period of time, relatively speaking, a little break, as hard as you can go again, relative break, hard as you can go again, your heart rate has no idea what your body is doing. Okay, so when you're at home, you have a higher post-workout metabolic rate than just got out of the elliptical. And I commend you for doing something, but let's change it up. Again, if you don't want to change, just keep doing the same thing. It's really easy. Um, questions about that? No? We're going to have a lot after. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Let's, um, let's flip this over. Let's get into.